I try to teach you. <laughs> uh, sounds like there's some trouble brewing in Beantown. The Celtics off to their worst start at home in franchise history after a loss to the Chicago Bulls last night. They're 2-5 and five overall, last place in the Atlantic Division. And now these comments from Marcus Smart. I would just like to play basketball. You know, every team knows we're trying to go to Jason and Jalen. And every team is programmed and studied to stop Jason and Jalen. And uh, I think everybody's scouting court is make those guys try to pass the ball. They don't want to pass the ball. And that's something that they're going to learn. Big perk. You want to chip in Boston. Let's just air it all out, why don't you? Uh, are you worried about the Celtics? Yeah, I am. I am. And, and Marcus Smart has lost his damn mind. You know, it's certain things that you know as a player that you can't come out and do in the interview or come out and say in the interview. And those are one of the things. You cannot attack your two franchise guys in the media saying that they need to pass the ball. Not only are you attacking them, you're attacking the first-year head coach in Ime Udoka who's just starting to get his feet into the, into the sand a little bit and trying to figure things out. You don't need outside distractions. You don't need turmoil inside the locker room. It's a reason why they didn't let Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown speak after the uh, game last night because they went up after Marcus Smart. And here it is. I hear Marcus Smart going up there talking about, you know, Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum need to pass the ball. He should be talking about defense. Because you know what? DeMar DeRozan had 37 last night on 75% shooting. You know what, Stephen A. and Swaggu and Molly? I played with a lot of Hall of Famers. I played with some great players. And in the fourth quarter, we had a rule on the team. We go to the guys that get paid the big bucks. Y'all take us home. And on the, on the Celtics, that's Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum, period. Period. Wow. I don't care if they go 0 for 20. Period. And you don't break the locker room code by calling them guys out in the public. Perk, theoretically, I get you. I totally agree with you. But Marcus Smart has never done this before. And he's been their teammates for years. So I get what you're saying. And on the surface, I think you're absolutely right. And that's why I wanted Molly to go to you first, because I know you know this stuff inside out in Boston, you know. And you were calling games with them last year. They were interviewing you pregame, postgame, if I remember correctly, last year, okay? What I'm saying to you is this. What he said about Jalen and Jason, two guys I love, and I definitely they should be shooting the damn ball. And I'm looking at things numbers wise, and I don't see anything egregious. Jason Tatum is averaging, uh, you know, uh, what, what is it about 24 shots a game? Jalen's at 20, okay. And then you got a couple of cats, in, 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 you know, that's averaging 11 and 12 and shooting at Horford and guys like that. But what I'm saying to you is this: I've heard people throughout the years have complaints about those two. I don't, you don't, but we've heard things internally and we wondered whether or not Brad Stevens was going to handle it. Does it not strike you or should it not strike us as a little bit odd that Marcus Smart, who's been their teammate for years, would suddenly do something he's never really done? And that's come out and called him out like that. That's the only thing that has my antennas up. That's not something he does. So why would he do it now? That, to me, is the big question. Go ahead, Swaggle. Well, here's what I'll say, because I'm, I'm in line with you. I got to disagree with my brother Perk on this one, S.A. And we talked, we, me and Perk actually on our podcast talked yesterday about Udonis Haslam. When he say something, it's a different vibe. Like, and Marcus Smart is really the heartbeat to me of the Celtics. When you start thinking about just grimy and him carrying on actually what y'all had going in Boston, Perk. So when, when, to Stephen A's point, Marcus Smart knows the game. He under, I'm, I'm talking about the game in which you speak after a game, the things that you say. That was a pointed statement that he was making, and I think it's in order to push Jason Tatum 
and 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 obviously move Jalen Brown into being better basketball players. I don't think this is about ball hogging. I think this is about how can the Boston Celtics be a better basketball team. Now, it could be misconstrued from those guys. They could take it personal. They could think that it's a shot from Marcus Smart personally yeah. at them as basketball players. I got the tone of, hey, y'all, we way better than what we should be right now. I mean, we way better than what we showing to be, and this is a part that we gonna have to get better at in order to be a better let's basketball leave, Let's team. leave it right there so I can be a good hype woman. So we've got Swaggoo and Perk, the new podcast, fresh episodes <laughs> every Tuesday. My guys, I love it. Mm -hmm. I love that, that you guys have you, joined you know, forces. You know, wait, 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 I'm not day. done. Okay. Then we've got NBA Today mm -hmm. at 3 Eastern. Big Perk will be on that. Then NFL Live, 4 Eastern. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to be on NBA Countdown tomorrow. Let's go. Right. Let me say go. this to you. Yep. Can I say something real quick? Swagoo and Perk. Yeah. I love them having a podcast together. It's must listen to, it's must see. But I got a problem with the name. Swagoo and Perk. Everybody know who y'all are. How about Huff and Puff? <laughs> How about Huff and Puff? <laughs> How about that? How about Huff and Puff podcast? How about that? You know what I'm saying? I mean, everybody knows as, Swagoo as soon and Perk. As soon as, I mean, you do I mean, damn, as soon as you do a damn hair loss commercial, we'll change you know what? the damn you know name what? of the podcast. <laughs> hey, check this out. Check this out. Why Marcus, you doing smoke? Marcus, Marcus, they pay me enough. I will do it. Yeah. I'll do it. <laughs> ain't no problem. I ain't got no shame. You ain't need no shame. to be. I'm in, my, I'm in my 50s. I'm good. Okay. okay. I'm good. Be hating. Hop and hating pop podcast. Hop and pop. Hop and pop. I need prayer. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.